there's two essential kinds of rock that we have to deal with. Round rock is rock that has already been worn in the environment by the rivers, by water resource, by air resource, and is turned into a smooth exterior surface. That kind of rock and sand is what's used in the production of all of the concretes. So everybody's home, their foundations, the concrete blocks are all round rock resources. Those come from river-based sources. Then there are hard rock sources. Those are actively blasted from hillsides. Those larger rocks are then run through a crusher, sorted, and various products created that allow for predominantly roadway construction and the buildup of embankment. Aggregates are critically important in small geographic areas because they're bulky, they're heavy, they're hard to transport. So you have to have your aggregate sources close to your local economy. Aggregate production in Southern Oregon has gotten extremely difficult. The permitting process takes now 14, 15, 16 months. It costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to permit a site because we have to complete noise studies and dust studies and transportation studies and, and evaluate the potential aggregate resources and so on. On one specific example, we had acquired some mineral rights from a gentleman by the name of Mr. Krause. It's a Jackson County site, it's reasonably close. It would have the ability to be able to get aggregates, round rock aggregates, into our local economy at a fairly reasonable cost. We began the permitting process some seven years ago. By the time we completed the land use process and applied for all of the necessary public permits from the mining regulatory agencies, we we're over a half a million dollars into the cost of the site. And we have not, at this date, been able to receive a permit for the site. We've been mining on the Applegate River for 30 years. That river is beautiful today because at the close of our projects, we do restoration work. We assure that what we have done has not had a, a major adverse impact to the environment. We have a very limited resource, predominantly because of the problems in the permitting process and land use and the environmental issues that associate with our industry. We believe those can all be effectively mitigated and that we are a great corporate and um, and personal citizen living in your environment, we're hopeful that people will recognize that we're trying to do the right thing to create a viable local economy.